<laughs> let's do it. Are you there, Noms? Let's do it. All right, let's go. There it is. I have no idea what the strategy is here. Oh my god, that was so bad. Same. Thank god there was a third lap because the first two were over 36. <laughs> oh man. Let's go! Let's go! Oh man. Fuck yeah! Let's go! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Let's see how it goes in the actual race. It's Don't a running track. Just posting results. I hate this track. It's one of the worst tracks in the game. Oh, really? <laughs> so pointy. Yeah, it has uh, some pointy corners. Is like is like racing on a the teeth of a comb. <laughs> I think it needs some extra runoff space. That would help. So it, so it flows a bit better. Someone screenshot the results. I I got yeah. I posted them already. Nice. Who was it? That was like three. Was it uh, Grande? Was it Grande? Grande. Yeah. Point three Grande. ahead. Crazy. Was it Grande? Grandy is clear. To be fair, I thought the fastest time would be a bit faster than 34 3. But, let me move. Andrews has got a good shot starting on the second row. Heavy as well in second, never mind. That's pretty good. <clears throat> uh oh oh my god I think I saw someone lag out oh my god someone drove right off the track yeah Oh my god, Levy's leading the race. Anyone have some commentary? Yeah, yeah. we only have Levy's. We have Levy's cam only. Alright, we've got Levioso leading the race. Grandi and P2, Andre's in third on the hards. 
Goose takes fourth place on the soft tyres. If Levy could turn on names, that'd be great, but I do understand he's in a pressured situation. Uh, suicide in fifth and sixth, batting with X610. We've got Eurus also in that fight with Buda, not too far behind Rosim. And Trixie as well with Velasco in last place. Uh, yeah, Velasco, not sure how he's convinced the league organisers to get himself onto the grid for another race. He is currently making his way through sector one as Levy ends lap two. Um, 17 seconds off the bat, kind of a Alessio de Leda situation. Okay, I think he's cursing me. <laughs> he is not happy with me. Um, but he is there. So all power to him in 12th place. He clips the grass. What if it's not his laptop? What if he's just really bad? Questions we'll never answer. Uh, Grandy's in second. X610 in third. Grandy looking like a ban might be possible if he dominated this race. Well, domination doesn't seem to be a word in his vocabulary at the moment. He's, he's pretty comfy sitting there. Yeah, behind the... <laughs> yeah what, what that man said. He's pretty comfortably seen behind Lev as he goes for a move there. Lev moves across to defend it. Might have just pushed him onto the grass, slightly coming into the hairpin. We've got the next hairpin coming up now. Grandy takes a wide entry. Both of them clip the grass on the exit so he's not caught up too much time to Lev. Going down into the final sector of the lap, the penultimate hairpin. Grandy really closes up through there. He's going to get slipstream all the way down the long final curve and the front straight can he maybe make a move left goes defensive into the pit wall goes grandy he's really being squeezed out there can he make a move to the inside he does in the first proper breaking zone he moves through on lev lev's going to fight this back grandy gives him a bit of a taste of his own medicine with a trip onto the grass there lev clips the wall and it looks like he's going to stay in second place for now obviously you can't rule out grandy dominating potentially he he did have a struggle at the start of last race where he had to fight with X extend for the lead in the opening laps, but then he did go on to absolutely cruise the competition. So maybe now he's out in first place, he'll be able to properly get some uh, some uh, clean air and some speed out of that. Meanwhile, we've got a bit pretty big train behind. Actually, we've got um, we've got X six, Andres, Uris, and Goose all looking pretty tight in the battle. I'm sure they're having a very Amazing time there, Velasco. A couple of laps back now already. Surely it must be time for Levy to pit now. Already. Levy, do you feel like pitting? Fucking all. Guess we won't get an answer. Jake, why are you not specking? I, I I was finishing my meal, and by the time I joined, they were basically. So oh, yes, it is not. Treats. That's a radio interference, sir. Yeah, I think we might have to the wrong channel. Um, yeah, yeah, Lev, come out of the pit. It's right in his battling pack, actually. He's got Eurus and X6 ahead of him. Now he's got Eurus and I think that's Goose ahead of him. He's got to get down the inside of him there. Goose going to shove him slightly sideways. Eurus is ahead. He goes for the move on both of them, gets through that sweeping hairpin. And they're all now behind him with him on much fresher tyres. That didn't really look like it was, was going to ever cause him problems. Grandy does pit. He's out, um, if I've got that right, six seconds ahead of Lev. Having just overtaken him two laps ago, is now six seconds ahead because of the time that Lev lost in that last lap on his fresh mediums. Grandy's on the sauce, which have less longevity, but he's going to just really look to stretch that advantage at the moment. Seven seconds is the lead Grandy has now. Domination. Looks like it might be entering his Look, vocabulary at the moment. Box, box, box. Velasco's coming into the pits. I wonder if he'll be able to undercut anybody through this. If he might Maybe be able not. to lap himself for the third time this race. Oh my lord. He does, Great. he comes out of the pits behind Grandy, ahead of Lev. Grandy making his way through that straight just above. I mean, we'll, we'll see him as he comes through over here. He's, no yeah, he's properly to sector two now. A smooth operator. He's well, not so smooth. Uh, Juan's race is going at the moment, unfortunately. Operator. <laughs> He's tried to cut me off. Um, but Lev is losing about a half a second, a second per lap on this guy. Like a roller coaster. And Lev's having a pretty good race. So Grandy is, is, not, is not a slow boy. Actually, the circuit 
sucks, my friend. This is a piece of shit. Well, I'm not happy there on the radio. Uh, Buddha is in his first ever Challenge League race. We're really glad he's joined us today, and he's performing quite well. He's right in the battling pack of all the the oldies mixed through with the uh, uh, Andres, X6, Goose, uh, Eurus, Sue, and Hect with Trixie just a little off the back of that pack. I mean, that'd be an amazing thing to be able to get a camera on, because that looks is a proper battle going on at the moment. As it is, not much happening here. Jake, how's it, how's it, how's it developing? Grandy's utterly dominating. I think Lev just caught by a second, so I think Grandy made a slight mistake. But at this rate, Grandy keeps this up, but he's obviously going to be removed from the CL just because he's so yeah, fast. Uh, very interesting. And as it stands, if Levy can keep this up, he might end up being the fastest CL driver to maybe fight for the championship. Interesting. That's true, because obviously if Grandy is removed after this race, I'm not making any promises, but... Yeah. If Grandy is removed after this race, the battle falls into the hands of those who will be allowed to race. Oh, Unless... Yeah, exactly. Your is just as shocked as I am. And, and Les really showing that he can have the pace to challenge once, um, once the finished driver is removed. Also, he's, he's coming around the final oh. corner now. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he's pitting. He's pitting there. Well, he'll be clear of Levy, I'm sure. Is he pitting? Yeah, he is. Yeah, will he pit and come out of Lev? He will. Wow. He's an entire pit ahead. Plus two yes, seconds. Yes, and, and a bit as well. He's got a pit and a safe couple seconds. And the last two pits again. I wonder how his pit crew will react to him again. I think he got slapped by one of his engineers. Yeah. Uh, we've got Andrews and Goose battling in the background. They're chasing down Rosim, who has a nine-second gap. I mean, saying this, is Lev is, is in himself pulling away from that battling pack. He's nine seconds, nearly ten seconds clear of Rosim. As he comes into pit now, he will come out ahead of that pack. They're making their way up to the final proper breaking point at the moment through the flat-out corner. They're nowhere near him. He comes out surely, safely surely, ahead. Surely Grandy and Levy must have a one-two unless some incredible rain strategy comes into play. Oh, I'd I love right this. now to see either Razim, Andreas, or even Goose's view of this, because this is going to be a great fight for third, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think we've accidentally got um, Juan's radio frequency on, on the same uh, channel as the commentary, so I do apologise for that. But if you understand Spanish, then then have a good time. I'm sure he's loving this race so far. I mean, we admire the dedication to keep showing up. Kind of almost like a Hetman X situation in last season of Sunday League. So yeah, full credit to him. Yeah, as he even, gets. even, we're not going to include Velasco here because, you know, uh, a few hundred seconds back. Het in last, technically. Only four seconds, only two seconds off now. Anyone yeah. in the, uh, between 11th and... And fifth could be fighting for the top five, and Razim and well, it's X six ten and one minute it's X six ten, one minute it's Yuri, one minute it's Buddha, one minute it's Goose. In third, it, it could be anyone here, even someone like Het down in tenth could still get a podium here. Absolutely, yeah. Het would love a podium. He started on the front row in the Saxon ring. Amazing, amazing performance there, and he very nearly grabbed a podium in the end, but couldn't quite manage it. Afterwards, he had a bit of trouble with uh, a ban, but. Since he's come back, we're yet to see the best of him, but hopefully we can we can see him go up and snatch a podium. I mean, he is, well, he's battling suicide for last place, but there's not big gaps up and down the grid. Biggest gap is Buda with under three seconds to Andrews ahead. So we, we've not got a train per se, but we've got a, you know, we've got a lot of carriages following closely to each other, like a train that's just been derailed, but is still trying to hold it all together, so to speak. Yeah. That in the pit lane exit. It's probably Velasco who's just kind of stuck there. I quite like this chilled approach of commentary because there's not actually much to commentate on. It just oh, works. Let, let, me, let, me, let me drop back 11 seconds. That's something yeah. frightening. The pit twice for us, will you love? Or Grandy, just, just stick on the handbrake for a bit. Yeah, just, just come on. Give us a direction. Right. right, I've had a Hasma walk into the room. He's not racing today after um, breaking seven bones last time out, but um, hopefully he'll be back next week. When will you be back? 
Uh, yeah, next week, two weeks. Okay, a couple of weeks, yeah. Hopefully. Get him, um, get him on commentary as well. That's a, that's a yeah, point. well, he says he doesn't want it, but he can if he wants. Um, I've seen Seeds from Sir Levioso. Yeah. Oh, Lev, Lev is, is brilliant. Beautiful racing. It's actually going to come to Grandy. But, oh, no, that's just Grandy Pitt. No, because he's, he's on the hard, so Grandy's pitted again. But you're right, if, he, if, if the hard stint does go well for him, I mean, this strikes me as a track where hards would work because there's a lot of hairpins, so you do need that grip. Um, grip being an important factor in races and one that you can actually upgrade in Sunday League Virtual, the new league coming to the Ultimate Racing 2D server in a couple of weeks' time. Sign-ups for teams will open in Great next week. So, no, uh, sh- so Don't um, sign up. make sure the deadline for signing up is today, so make sure you do so if you're interested in joining as a driver. Team owner slots are filled, but you can join our driver database. Uh, back to the race. Um, if you're a Sky like on. Yeah. Well, if you're a SkyQ or SkyGlass customer, <laughs> you can actually go back to the beginning and watch the highlights. <laughs> Why do I talk about the Sunday League race? Uh, Skip, who do you think is going to win the race? I think it might be Nuno. I'm not going to lie. Shockingly. You're this really? is our podcast now. This is, this is the, the interviews channel. I think it'll be Nuno, Momskar, and Danny will get on the podium. They're all present at the moment. Danny deafened, so he can't hear the pressure that we're putting on him. Um, so but yeah, I think those three will be the podium. I could see Gamer and even Hernandi an outside chance at a podium. Only uh, and maybe getting on the podium in Sunday League later if he does race. He's shown great pace so far in Challenger League. Um, Nomskar. Nomska, I, I've heard a little birdie has told me that Nomska is very fast. Not, but not biased, but you know, I think uh, Nomska is looking good uh, on his return. We're not sure if he'll actually return as Nomska for this race. If he does, then that kind of screws him over in the drivers' championship because he'll have two entries out of each race, about half a season, um, or three races, three or four races. But uh, if he does return as Nomska, all credit to him. Nomska is back and counting up, ticking up the podiums on the mega table once more. Um, Nom's a very, very talented driver, as we all know. I mean, big shot. Two cha- world championships, and he's really come back recently. He looked like, for the first time in, in, a, in a good while, I mean, we've had him challenge Nuno twice for race wins in Nuno's long stint of domination recently. He's actually been able to get up there and put some pressure on. Game was able to do that in Broad Oak. Haven't quite seen him that high up since, um, but... Saxon Ring, Vallelunga, Danny and Sobel in second places, and they didn't really look that near to hey, Juan, or respect Juan, to them. I'm trying to, uh, to, 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 to math this one. I'm trying to see who the top three would be as it stands since the top three get the Super Cup qualification spot. Grandi no, and no. Razim, I'm fairly sure... Ah, secured its third, which I'm trying to work out. I think as it stands, I, th- I think if Levy can keep second, it, might, it could be him, it could be X610, or it could be Andreas. I think everyone else is near enough out. Jay, do you want to do a little plug for the Super Cup? I'm going to move, move exactly. quite Yeah, I've been trying to disconnect him, but he keeps coming back. <laughs> right. Uh, um, Jay, that's about the Super Cup. So... The Super Cup is going to be something that happens starting, I think it's the 6th, 6th of, 6th of June. Um, oh, lovely. For new people, unfortunately, your best bet is to qualify through the pre-qualification tournament, which will be starting well, tomorrow or as soon as possible. As soon as the Sunday League races end and we get a, we get to see everyone who's going to be racing, I'm going to do the draw. Uh, I'll probably stream it and we'll see who goes up against who. If you want to race... That's in the it. Super- Sorry, go on. <laughs> Absolutely nothing changes. Anyway. Absolutely nothing changes. <laughs> Left um, bits, go on. Wait, Rosim's actually not that far behind him. <clears throat> okay, but he just just bit, okay. Uh, 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 if you want to join the pre-qualification, though, to get a chance to join the Super Cup, the, the top three from that little tournament will go to the actual tournament. If you want ooh. to join, send me a message. I think we've got people. I think, Skip, are you going to be joining the little pre Oh, I might do, you yeah. know. I, I can't rule it out. I, I need interruption there, Skip. The last goes on with an interesting I strategy. I want to get Cup, Jay. Superpower. Cup, cup, cup. How can Hasma get into the Super Cup? Uh, I'm not you, good you enough. Need go for, you need to go through the pre-Q, and you need to get the... You need to go through pre-Q. pre-Q. I'm not going to get through that shit. Well, uh, I, think, I think there's about eight... Sorry to our viewers, Fenry, expletives that you might have heard so far on the broadcast. Anyway. 
in Spanish or English, not intentional. I well, makes a lot of mistake, there. There's about eight people in pre queue, and the top three from that will go into the actual Super Cup. Um, yes. Base, it's, 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 most of CL who aren't top three, and a few people who aren't in leagues, I, I hope skips that. I'm going to try and persuade Mike to try and join, but I don't think. Well, that would be clever, I think, because it's, one, it's 1v1s, right? Yeah, yeah, 1v1s. Yeah, so um, 1v1s, I reckon Mike might do. The track selection, it's going to be three random tracks chosen, and you can choose to ban one of them. Your opponent oh, chooses lovely. the other. Or any truck you race. Uh, so, yeah. But it's going to be a week long thing, so. Mm. Plenty, of, plenty of drama, plenty of interesting matchups, and maybe a few upsets, you know. It's a 1v1, it's not a proper race. No strategy needed. Pit wise, anyway, hopefully, unless. You know, rain decides to come ruin your day. Rain will be on. So these tracks, what are, what's the kind of pool of tracks going to be? Like Nuno's tracks, these time AI lines for? Or like, how are we going to know which... How they will be based? announced probably tomorrow. I've got a rough idea of some. But right. the rule, the, all the rules set, race length, everything like that will be released tomorrow. Okay. Hopefully the pre-queue tournament table thing will also be released tomorrow. I'm not going to do the seeding for the actual cup yet until pre queues done. So then we have a full full twenty four drivers to to match up with each other. But if I you're mean, in top eight in Sunday league, you automatically get access to the second round. Oh, amazing! I don't think the top eight in Sunday league will change unless someone can over to Grito. But I don't think Grito will be attending anyway. I think yeah, it's probably also if people just can't make the races, then they might have to drop out and give yeah. it to the next place. But oh, oh it is rain. Velasco's put on the right tyres about five laps early. Velasco, the absolute... Velasco is a rain <laughs> god. <man. laughs> 360 seconds back is... is, is, is he's is, for the soft he's for the soft. <laughs> Nobody can predict what this man does. Lev stays out. That's actually an interesting call. I wonder why he has done that. Because it's going to be a while since till the rain. It'll be like 10, I, 15 seconds. I mean, if, if Levy wasn't to pit and Razim tries the Inters, which he is... He is. If, if, if Levy... Oh, it's I mean, not possible. He'd have to pit this lap. He'd have to pit this lap to cover oh, him off. Good. Yeah. Oh. Oh. This, this could actually... Very interesting. With worn tyres, I don't see the point. With worn tyres, I don't see the point of staying out like Lev has because he might as well just gamble it in oh for the God, Inters. This could actually be mental. Grandy onto the wet. He needs to keep his shit together here, Lev. Lev could actually... This could be a fight for second here. Seven second gap. Six second gap. Lev must pay. Here he goes. Six seconds. Randy, as up. we can see, is that him rounding the final corner? It isn't. But is that him rounding the final corner now? It might be. He it comes out. Yes. Right, but Lev is on the correct tyres. Grandy's on the inters. Lev is on the full wet, and it will just get wetter. It's only going to get wet. wet yeah. The rain's getting wetter. It is. The rain is getting wetter. Sanders has discovered the rain is wet, and it's only getting wetter from here on in. Velasco the god. Velasco the god. After the softs, after being on the right tyres, he didn't actually want to be on the right tyres. We have to ban him. Um, I think Levy's got this in the bag, you know, he's on the wet regime. I think he's just about got this in the bag. It was looking a bit sketchy for a second, but Grandy, meanwhile, nearly a lap ahead. He's in the middle sector on the final lap, <laughs> about let's, to win the race. Let's so, see if there's any battles going on. Exit we'll Mike follow him to the end. I think he's coming around the final part of the track now. Grandy, in this final ever race in Challenger League, is about to come across the line and win the Season 4 Portuguese Grand Prix as the la uh, rain de-intensifies intensi in... Yes. Goose here for 8th. We can't tell who's going to win that fight. But... We've still got position shuffles going on. We'll see what the final screen says. It's Grandy who wins by 21.55 seconds. Hey, 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 scroll back up. I can't see who's in second. <laughs> Lev, obviously, in second. Grandy takes faster slap because, obviously, by like half a... Wow, that was a good fast lap. Um, Rosim in third, and then, okay, I, I missed the rest of the results. Bye! Love you. That was fun. Grandy with domination. All right.